Master Mai, everyone. I hope you are well. I'm a spithic, a fairy. I'm casting my spell. You know what to do when you see me pass by. You give me a greeting and say, Fast am I. <laughs> now, let me get on. I've a story to tell. It may be a tale you already know well. An old farming family out at Balua, a brother and sister and twins to be sure. When children, they really got on very well. But as they grew older, I'm sorry to tell. He rose in the world and quite snobby became. While she stayed at home, her life still the same. With friends in high places, he became MHK. <laughs> While she mucked out cow sheds and bailed up the hay. Their mother, poor mother, was terribly sad. My children aren't speaking, it's driving me mad. I'll send both an invite, and on it I'll say, please come here for dinner on our Christmas day. <coughs> Sit back in your chairs now, and let's have a skeet at all that'll happen when the two of them meet. Take a look, people. It's my sister Sue, straight from the farmyard, and all covered in poo. <laughs> Off on a visit to parents, I fear, dressed like a tramp in hand-me-down gear. You live in the wilds in that place they call Rock, brewing up broth and buttering bonnock. Your hair all stew with, and not a sign of a dress. Oh, sister, your life is a terrible mess. You, you stuck-up great ass. <laughs> Enjoying your life in the high upper class. Thinking you're better than everyone here. As you sip your cocktails whilst we just have beer. Your wife gallivanting in a slap and a glitz. And prancing around with her silicon tits. <laughs> Who are your friends? Not one from school. It's all about money, you silly old fool. You're a member of Timbald, our MHK. You stick with your lifestyle, I'll go my own way. How dare you insult me? I know what I'll do. I'll take off my sword and run you right through. <laughs> take this to the body and let me draw blood. I'll bury you down with your carrot and spud. But I have got muscle. I'll take a big step. Stab you in the belly with my 20 grand pound grip. You always forget that your blood isn't blue. I'm your sister, you know, the same blood as you. <laughs> oh, Childer, oh, Childer, what have you both done? Oh, what's my life without daughter and son? I invited you round. It is Christmas again, and all you have done is cause sorrow and pain. Doctor, come quick. They're now middling blue. Oh, what's my life if you don't pull through? I'm working at Nobles. A good job I have got, for I'm a consultant. They pay me a lot. <laughs> what's that to casualties I have to face? I'm on my way now with my little brown case. <laughs> what took you so long, yonder medical friend? These two little craters are just at their end. I'm sorry, I heeded what your SOS meant, but I had to fill out a full risk assessment. <laughs> oh, sire, now you're here. We're at your command. What can you cure for your 100 grand? Pimples and spots or a fingernail off? From rubella, paella, to a damn nasty cough. Things that might seem to be disastrous. 
I can fix them all up with elastoplastus. <laughs> Trouble with your maiden on your very first date? I've new purple pills, they'll put you up straight. <laughs> Anything and everything, from sore throat to flu, or embarrassing rashes that you've caught from the loo. <laughs> Bovine TB, or a dog with the fleas. Even formulas for the mad cow disease. Asthma and polo, and acute salmonella. I am the fella that'll make you feel weller. <laughs> well, get on with it then. These kids need you now. The vet would have finished if they'd been a sick cow. What is your fee? <laughs> well, you seem a man of very great wealth. So I'll do you, sir, private and not national health. <laughs> and just to make you feel a little extra super, I'll throw in a year's membership free with the booper. <laughs> Bottles and potions, some pills and some jams. Would you believe it? The Mount Worry plans. <laughs> Something maybe to help ease the pain. Pointless me examining parts of the brain. A cup full of wee collected from local bees. And a beak from a bat who now avoids trees. A hook to get into an MHK's trap and a handful of dung beetles to rid all the crap. <laughs> Let's give it all to them and see what it brings and soon they'll be rising like queens and their kings. They'll look and will seem and be just like before with a massive divide between rich and the poor. see. For now it is Christmas. I shall waver my fee. So get rid of your differences and get ye some rest. For this season of goodwill, I wish you the best. <laughs> oh, mother and sister, so sorry am I. I've been snobby awful, I cannot deny. I sometimes forget that we were so close. A life spent farming, it's not always that gross. You chose your life and I chose mine. So that's no real reason to fight all the time. I think you are right, little brother of mine. We both love our mum, so things will be fine. She loves us the same because she's got a good heart despite that our lifestyles are oceans apart. I love you, my brother, and let's stop this madness that's causing poor mother such sorrow and sadness. Now let's make our family as close as we can and celebrate Christmas in the great Isle of Man. Now, time for a selfie. <laughs> let's do it in style. Let's do it in style. <laughs> the three of us now. Give us a smile. Come on, everyone. Huddle up, get in the picture. 
Ladies and gentlemen, that was the adaptation of the White Boys play. Played wonderfully today. Please give a big round of applause for the Michael Players. <laughs> <laughs>